Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about language model adaptation. Now, what we will discuss? First, we will get to know what is mean by language model adaptation. And the second, we are going to learn the different techniques which are used for language model adaptation. Now, let's see what is language model adaptation. Let's understand this with a real time example. Let's say you have a friend named Aman. Aman is very good at telling you the stories, but he can't deliver the same story in the way you want. For instance, if you ask Aman to tell the same story as a bedtime story, he couldn't deliver it. Then what you will do? Obviously, you, are, you will ask Aman to refer different kind of bedtime story so that he could adapt the style from that bedtime stories, right? So now you apply the same story in order to understand this language model adaptation also. Let's consider language model as Aman who is telling you the stories in general way and language model adaptation is nothing but Aman who is trying to adapt the storytelling to the bedtime storytelling. So that is nothing but language model adaptation. So let's see the points. Language model adaptation is a process in NLP where we adjust an existing language model to perform better on a new specific type of text or content. See, let's say you have ChatGPT. I know that most of you will use ChatGPT for several reasons. See, ChatGPT is also created by using this language models only. So what these language models will do is they are actually trained on general data set. Like all the general things they, ha they have been trained on the general data set. So if you ask any question to ChatGPT, it will give you the answer. But one day you wanted the chat GPT to deliver the same content in your style. Then what you will do? You have to train that chat GPT. You have to uh, make that chat GPT adapt to your style. So that is nothing but language model adaptation. So there is already a language model. You are making that language model some changes so that it could give you the better results. The second point, this is important when the data used to train the model is different from the data where the model will actually be used. See, while you are uh, creating a language model, you will train uh, it with general data. And later, if you want it to perform in a better way, then the data you used is different from what you used previously. So that is what is said. And now let's see the techniques used in this model. So the first technique is model interpolation. And the second you have is topic dependent models. And the third one is self adaptive models. And the fourth is unsupervised adaptation. And the fifth is using web data. See, there are di different kinds of techniques other than this. But these are the main techniques which you will use for language model adaptation. So now let's see about model interpolation. So I have said that model interpolation is also known as mixture models. What does mean by mixture? Mixture is nothing but the combination of two or more. So here, mixture models are nothing but the combination of two or more models. Let's understand with this example. See, there is a language model which is trained on general news articles. And there is also another language models which are trained on medical articles. So if you combine this both, then it will give you better results than the previous one. So that is the use of mixture models. So here is the definition you can refer to it. And this is the example which I have mentioned. You can refer to it also. 
so now let's see about the second technique that is topic dependent models by the name only you can see that it is topic dependent like you will maintain different language models for different topics so whenever you want a specific topic then you have to choose it later you can do whatever work you want on that particular language model for example let's say uh, you have article section see in that article section only you will be having different different topics like news articles you will be having like medical articles or research articles tech articles all these articles you are having so for different kinds of articles you will maintain different language models whenever there is a use of any uh, tech articles then you have to select the language model which is related to the tech articles and do whatever the work you have regarding it so this is about topic dependent models and now let's see about self adaptive models self adaptive is nothing but self learning you can consider it as self learning what is the self self learning means it will adapt by itself by seeing some words this models will adapt by itself whenever they see some words for example let's say in a document the language model has seen some word as talk so there is a huge chance that whenever you ask a question to that chat gpt there is a huge chance that it will give you the result where you will be having the words related to stock like it can be finance or it can be money all those things which are related to stock so that's why they are called as trigger model so whenever it sees some uh, new word in that document automatically it will give you all the words related to it so here is the example you can refer to it and this fourth technique is unsupervised adaptation what is unsupervised adaptation what this unsupervised adaptation will do is it will take the output of different language models either that output can be right or the output can be wrong whatever the output is it will take that output as a reference and it will adapt to that particular output only where this unsupervised adaptation is used let's say you have a system that can convert your speech to the text even the text which is generated at the last even it is having any errors the language model will adapt to it why it is adapting to it is the reason behind this is it can understand the style of the speaker's speech and then you have the last one using web data see so it will this language model will consume some additional information from the internet after consuming it that information it uses for different purposes for example let's say the language model wants to learn different kinds of slangs so what it will do it will collect the data from twitter instagram and all the social media platforms and it will understand the slang of different languages so these are the use of the techniques in language model adaptation thank you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to receive regular updates then please do join our telegram channel